Maestro Bell is designed for general roof space ventilation in bushfire prone areas and can be ducted to specific rooms such as bathrooms, kitchens and laundries. It's suitable for installation in areas with bushfire attack levels up to 40. In this video we'll give you an overview of how to install Maestro Bell on a tiled roof. The advice given here is general and doesn't replace the detailed installation instructions provided with the product. Maestro Bell is a DIY ventilator that can usually be installed within one to two hours. However, we recommend consultation with a professional or licensed trade. If you have a slate roof, if you suspect there might be asbestos in the roof, if Maestro Bell will be installed onto a two-storey home, or if there's no power point within 1.8 metres of the installation location. Before beginning, ensure you have the following tools and consumables. You should also check that there's a power point in the roof cavity within 1.8 metres of the installation position. Finally, keep safety in mind when working at heights. Make sure the weather and roof conditions are safe and non-slip footwear is worn. First, select a suitable location, ensuring that the vent is no higher than the third row of tiles. There should be no rafters below it, although smaller battens may be cut away later. Remove the required tile, then mark out and cut neighbouring tiles so that the vent throat is unobstructed. It may be necessary to cut away a small length of batten and or to cut away sarking. We also advise cutting a small section of the removed tile and returning it to position to help seal the flashing. Lower the vent into place, ensuring the cables are fed through. Slide the flashing underneath the upper row of tiles. Using a rubber mallet, form the flashing over the lip of the tile and seal the flashing against the tiles using a weatherproof sealant. From inside the roof cavity, Form the steel strap onto the lip of the flashing and screw or nail the strap to the batten. Connect the vent lead to the speed controller. Then connect the lead from the power supply. Finally, connect to mains power and check that the fan operates without obstruction. Secure the speed controller to the structure using cable ties or the supplied screws. Once installed, the vent defaults to auto mode where the fan speed will adjust automatically depending on the temperature and humidity inside the roof cavity. By pressing the button on the fan controller, you can set the fan speed to run continuously on low, medium or high. The sound from the fan will indicate its speed, loudest on high, most quiet on low.